So what I'm going to show you today takes the best of what ChatGPT has as an advantage and the best what Claude has, which is his intelligence, and mushes them together to give you something that allows Claude to read the internet. Now, as many of you know, there's kind of a competition between ChatGPT and Claude. ChatGPT has a big advantage over Claude right now, which is that it can browse the internet, it can find current documentation, it can find current events on Bing, and it's actually really, really powerful for that reason. But Claude has an advantage over ChatGPT at this moment in time, which is that it's effectively a more intelligent model. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're actually going to be using something called Typing Mind. Shout out to David who put me onto this. If you just go on Google and type Typing Mind and just click the first one, they probably have an affiliate system, but yeah, we're not really that bothered about affiliate stuff. So um, yeah, this is basically it. I'm going to click on Buy a License just to show you the pricing. It's $39. This is all you need. Uh, actually, no, it's not. You actually need to pay $59 for the web search option. So it's not cheap, okay? And, you know, it could be that in a month or whatever, Anthropic, who are the company that make Claude, they come out with this themselves, okay? But this is just for now, this is a good stopgap if you're someone who uses Claude a lot and you want access to the internet now with Claude, Typing Mind is a very, very good way to do this. So we actually bought the premium license just, you know, because it's for the business anyway, but you can probably get away with just getting the $59 for life, okay, it's a lifetime license, it's not for a month, uh, this license right here, the $59 one, this will probably serve you for what we're, what I'm going to show you in this video. So, one of the first things we obviously need to do is we need a Anthropic API key, so we'll go on console.anthropic.com and we'll open up on my one, actually, yeah, that's fine, we can use my one. Once you're on here, you want to click Get API Keys and you want to just create a new key and just call it anything and then press Copy and then we're going to select Opus here and we I'm going to say hi to it and it'll pop up it's basically saying please enter your Anthropic API key. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, yep, I'm just going to do that now. So we'll save there. And this will add the Anthropic key basically to here. Now there is another step. You have to go on Google and you have to make a custom search engine, which might seem a little bit strange. But I'll show you this in action now. So if I click Manage Plugins and I click Web Search and I click Settings, you'll see Search Engine ID and Search Engine API key. So you want to go on Google and type in Google custom search engine and open this one here. It's, they're called programmable search engines. I didn't even know this existed until the other day, basically. I had no idea this was a thing. You'll see I made one uh, two days ago, which was me testing the method that I'm showing you now. So we'll just press add here and we'll just call this uh, video test and we'll say search the entire web and we'll just say I'm not a robot. I'm just going to, mm, let's just leave those off actually and then press create, and then we'll press customize. Now we're gonna get given an ID here, which is the search engine ID. So we'll copy that and we'll put that here. And then also we'll have the uh, API key, which will be here. Yep. So we'll press get started here and then we'll press get a key. If you're not familiar with API keys, you just need to follow what I'm showing you basically. It's just, just a way for, the, for things to kind of talk programmatically. You can create a new project, and then just press next. It's totally fine. And then once this loads, we're just going to grab whatever the API key is. I will be deleting this API key at the end of this video, so you know, don't bother pausing the video and trying to take the API key to do something with it. It will be deleted by the end of this video, or by the time you see this video. So I'll press copy here, head back on over to um, Typing Mind, hit save. That should have saved, let's just check. Yep, perfect, and then we'll click Enable Search. 
And then it says plugin support function calling for Claude models is in beta or beta. You may see additional generated text such as thinking or search quality reflection tags. See Anthropics documentation for more details. That's not that important. So I'm going to say something like what happened to um, what happened in American news on the 11th of June 2024 and we'll hit send here. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to use in front of us, it's going to use um, a function call, basically. And then it's going to search the web. And then we'll see that this is what happened in America on the 11th of June 2024, which was yesterday. This here, that's, this is exactly what happened yesterday. It was big news. Um, now it's going to say that I need to enter a license key. This is when you need to enter your license key now. I do already have one, but I'm probably not going to even bother logging in for this video because it's not really necessary. That's actually almost it. You just want to make sure, you know, th this is huge. There are many, many things you can do with this, okay? So one of the main advantages that this actually has is that you can now connect Claude to the internet for coding purposes because something that often happens is um, documentation gets updated, something new comes out for you know whatever the API or whatever you're playing around with. And Claude or ChatGPT, they just don't have this updated information. So even something as simple you might think as using ChatGPT to code within the OpenAI API infrastructure doesn't even work because ChatGPT was trained until you know the, I think it was August 2023, and they recently changed all of their API stuff. So you can't even use ChatGPT to code ChatGPT unless it's connected to the internet, which is exactly what this is. This here allows you to connect Claude, which is currently, at least in my opinion, the most intelligent model in the world to the internet, which is extremely powerful. I hope that you can see the power of this. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. If you're interested in using ChatGPT and Claude for writing content, then first you're gonna need some keywords. If that's the case, please check out this video that we'll leave right here, probably. <laughs> and we'll show you how to do some very good industry standard keyword research.